Hi everybody, uh, welcome to another one of our videos. Uh, this one's called Napier's Bones, hopefully I've said that right. Um, it's a quick, fun, easy way to multiply big numbers. As you can see, we've got 7294 times 5, 9156 times 7, and 5478 times 8. Uh, we're going to show you how to do that with Napier's Bones. The reason it's called that is because it, in olden days it used to be made out of bones um, so it was easier for them in those days. Uh, it was used for about 300 years I believe, uh, that's what I've read on Google so I don't know if I should believe it or not. Anyway, uh, as you can see on the top row we have 1 to 9, although 8 and 9 is in the wrong place. Mm. <laughs> um, and down the side we have 1 to 9. Okay. Um, as you can see also these are your times tables so if you look down the one column 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times 2 is 2, 1 times 3 is 3 and so on 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9 and that also goes along the row at the top 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9 um, if you look at the 5 column coming down you'll see you've got 5, 10, 15 20, 25, 30, 35, 40 and 45. So really with this one it's all about adding as well as timesing. Um, we're going to start off with the first sum. So the first sum was 7294 times 5. So Cyan if you could move them around to how they're supposed to be. So, as you can see now, at the top, we have 7,294. Now, if you go down the side, and you go to 5, so I'm going to come back over with the video. So, down the column into 5, you'll see that you've got 35104520. Now, the trick to this is to add up diagonally. So, we'll start off... Um, the if we move the answer sheet over so you can see what cyan's doing okay so 7294 times 5 so the answer on the end would be a zero then what we would do is add the 2 and the 5 together to make 7 and then we will add the 4 and the 0 together to make 4. And then we will add the 1 and the 5 together to make 6. And then 3 is on its own. So, and if we put a comma next to the 6, we have 36,470. So that's your answer to 7,294 times 5. Okay, we'll show you another one so you can get to grips with it. So the next thing we're going to do is 9,156 times 7. So again, we're going to go back to our columns and we're going to find 9,156. Move all the other ones out of the way and make sure we've got them lined up properly. Okay, so with this one, we're times in by 7. So if I pop the ruler underneath the 7, then we can see where we're working from. So working from the end, okay, our answer will start or end with a 2. Then we're going to add the 5 and the 4 diagonally across this way here diagonally 5 and 4 make 9 she's already got that one 3 and 7 make 10 so we're going to put a 0 and then we're going to carry the 1 to the next sum so 0 and 3 make 3 plus 1 is 4 okay and then 6 is left on its own so 9 1156 times 7 equals 
64,092. So we'll just quickly do the last one for you so you can see that one as well. So um, hopefully we're not making it too confusing. So the last one we're going to do is 5,478. And we're going to times that by 8. So, the end of your answer will be a 4. Then we're going to add diagonally the 6 and the 6, which makes 12, so 2, and then carry the 1 over. 5 and 2 make 7 plus the 1 is 8. 3 and 0 make 3 and then four on its own. So 5,478 times eight is 43,824. So we hope that really makes sense to you. Um, I'll upload the Napier's Bones onto Facebook so you can find those on there um, and then you'll be able to print them off Okay, so um, that's it then. Hope you enjoyed, hope it helps you, and we'll be back soon with a new video. Thanks a lot. Bye.